Guys, remember some days ago, Google announcing the Material U design concept at the Google I.O. And it was really a big event. They told you they can do a bunch of things, redesign widgets, new colors, new schemes, and also the fact that the Material U can take the wallpaper and base your theming, your colors, only on your wallpaper. People are really amazed. Now let me tell you something. Samsung already has it. And that's not a joke here. Theme Park is a series to create a theme and install it quickly and easily. But what also Theme Park is doing, it extracts the dominant colors from the wallpaper and creates a theme automatically based on the user style and the colors. So what happens now? Samsung having something before Google. If you have been following my channel, you also seen Xiaomi having some things before Google, like privacy settings in the latest MIUI, even based on Android 11. So if you are for the first time here on this channel and you're new, you might want to consider subscribing for this channel because here I do share the latest tech news on the mobile operating systems, in deep and tech reviews. If you are a fan of this, you're more than welcome to support. I've done previous reviews on the theme park and right now they released a new version. So the version right now is 10817 and they added now volume panel theme customization. So I'm gonna be installing the latest version of theme park and we're gonna be testing this. You can also change the color of the toolbar icon on the keyboard. They also added a style for dark mode and some animations are added and improved usability. I'm gonna hit here the update button. Once this is updated, I'm gonna press the open button right now. Team Park will start and we're gonna be testing the new functionality. I'm gonna be testing the new volume panel and I'm also gonna be testing the creation of a new theme so that I can show you that the theme park is indeed taking the dominant colors from the wallpaper and set the theme based on this. In fact, this is material U before it's actually released. So directly going here to the volume panel, right? Click plus button to create a new item. I'm gonna click the plus button right now and you can just see this is the new screen here. And you can see all the circles are actually presenting you options for customizations. So let's say I'm gonna choose this palette here. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna choose something more saturated. Okay, and I'm gonna go for another color. Then I'm gonna choose here. Here I'm gonna also use some other colors and a different type of saturation. I'm gonna make something really crazy in terms of coloring. Don't judge me, I'm just doing this for the test. And I'm gonna be using a different color so that we're really able to test this thing in the best possible way. So here we have three buttons. Let's press the first one. First one is indeed the dark mode. So you can now see how your team is gonna look in dark mode. So let's try to do also some customizations there. So let's say I don't wanna have it so dark. Okay, color click here as well. I'm gonna change the colors here a bit. All right, now see, dark mode, light mode, all right, okay. Then you have here a pen. When you click the pen, you're able to do a screenshot. Now, for example, clicking here will give you a very blank view of how it's gonna look like. And then here, you have the option to save it. Here you have to type a name. I'm gonna type VST, press OK. And we are now about to install this theme. Now, please note, I have only used the customization on the volume panel. So I'm just gonna go like this and I'm just gonna try to do something, all right? It's still the old volume panel, guys, see? This is not the new volume panel, so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna click on my VST and I'm gonna hit here apply. Now the theme has been installed, all right? Click OK. And if we go now back and I do like this, boom, here, my new custom design. And to make sure that it really works, I'm also gonna trigger the dark mode so we can also test that one. So dark mode, all right? Now let me go back here on the main screen and see, absolutely working. And I mean, this is really crazy, guys all the possibilities that you can do with the stock Android One UI from Samsung are really almost infinite, they're endless. That's why I'm really a big fan of Samsung and I'm always saying, let's go back now in Theme Park and I wanna create a new theme from scratch to just test this new material view. All right, so starting here with the theme button, I'm gonna hit here, create new, all right? The first ever thing we're gonna be using is the wallpaper. So I want to create a team using this wallpaper. So I'm gonna press next, okay? Now, select a main color and style. The color and style affect the overall colors and mood of the team. And you can just see, I can go and choose that one. I can go and choose this one, right? So you have options, but Theme Park are giving you some customizations of the coloring based on the wallpaper. So let's try to test the one in dark mode. 
Okay, pretty much okay. You can also just do like this to see more screens or just see main screen. And then you can also hit the save button. Now I'm gonna apply the theme again, right? It's about to install the theme. No custom software needed, guys. It all comes from theme park and good luck. Now you have also the options to create some custom keyboards. And again, options here are almost endless. So let's say you want to go for this style or that style or this style. I mean, you name it. They have everything there. Different key styles. You can just see the borders change. Let's go for that one. Let's check it here. Looks okay. I'm going to save this as well. All right. I can go also for the quick panel and I'm able to also change colors on the quick panel. So let's say I'm going to go for the little one and in the dark mode, I'm going to go just for this dark ones. Okay. I'm going to save this one. And now guys, you have these four elements. So the first element from the theme park is the theme. You have to go click here and enable it if you want. The second thing is the keyboard. The third thing is the quick panel. And then last but not least, we have the volume panel. So let's go here and try to set the theme. So see how it's going to look like. All right. It is already styled with the colors derived from my wallpaper. I'm going to hit apply. Okay. Wait while we change theme setting. Theme is applied. It does run very smoothly. Very nice. All right, right now, see, my new team absolutely styled with the colors from this background. And you can just see all the transparency, even when I go visit my quick settings, it's all aligned with what I have here. But it doesn't really stop here. If I go back and I'll be able also to go for my custom keyboard. Now let me show you how my Samsung keyboard looks right now. As simple as that, of course, I have some animations, but it is black. If I go back to theme park and I choose the new style I just created, Chain setting, I'm gonna go back now to my chat and you can see that everything changes. The layout, the borders here, it's beautiful. All right, let's go back. Right now, I have the standard colors on my quick panel that actually came from my custom theme. But if I wanna go one step more, I can choose my own modified quick panel theme. What will happen after I apply it, you can see for yourself, <laughs> get a bit colorful. And if I press the dark mode, it will change again. Let me just try this, see, absolute insane dark and green i have a feeling like this phone from the matrix right but from the future version the end release matrix <laughs> okay let's go back in theme park and we're going to be creating a new team using a different wallpaper so that we can all see how the software extracts the dominant colors and from gallery i'll choose this picture that's actually a picture that i did with the phone i'm going to press done right now i'm going to press next and now the phone is going to do the incredible magic and you can just see all the screens are going to change, right? And of course, you have options to fine tune it. Let's say you go with this one. This one looks cool. Let me directly try to save that one. I'm gonna press here version two, okay? The keyboard is gonna change. The background is gonna change. Everything's gonna change. So I'm gonna hit now the selection and you can just see this should become a new design. I'm gonna hit apply. And then again, all should be different. Applying the theme, again, it's very smooth no issue whatsoever. I have here my background. If I scroll like this, you see everything changed. All the buttons here from the quick menu are also colored using the main color, the dominant color from my wallpaper. And if I even go and press the dark mode, it's not gonna change, you see? Still, it is absolutely unique. And that's why I told you, you know, Google are doing some very nice stuff. We have yet to see how Google is gonna implement this, but hey, Samsung already has it. And then Xiaomi already has some things. So I'm really happy to see this competition because more competition between Xiaomi and Google and Samsung and Apple means only one thing, we win. So it's a win-win situation. All right, guys, I hope you have liked this video. If that's the case, you know what to do. If you wanna get notified when I do upload new videos, then just please select also the bell icon. Please, you and your family stay safe and we're gonna catch up in one of the new videos. VST, over and bye.